G'day everyone, this is at Pupil here doing another tutorial video. This time I am focusing on armor angling and situation awareness. Uh, the version of this game for future reference is 0.7.1.b. Uh, basically, before I go too far into it, this is going to have to happen over several, over a couple of videos because seven minutes is just not enough time to go into all the detail about this. Uh, but to start off with the basics, number one, arm angling happens on three on three dimensions, even on flat maps like Himmelsdorf, you've still got to worry about people shooting from above or from different angles of elevation. It's also the fact that, you know, you can be facing in a tall tank like the mouse or the E100 against a small tank, such as the IS-4, um, they generally tend to aim up towards you so you've got to factor that into your angling as well that all feeds into the situational and ta tactical awareness of the map so this will be a several part se series on what to do here a um, little bit of basics so basically I've it's really you should know your basic armor angling but I will touch over just a little bit of it uh, obviously with this shot there, that at 490 meters, I was counting on my gun with the 0.35 dispersion to actually go down a little bit, so I aimed up towards the turret. Um, obviously that was one of the shots where my shell actually went exactly where the marker was going, told me it was going to go, and so it bounced off the turret. Um, that is not any situation with the gun, that is just me making a big fuck up. I'll make one other big fuck up, but I'll show you guys that later on. Um, so yeah, basically, as you can see, this is a really good map for me to, oh, to do something like this on, because of it's not flat terrain. It's very bumpy, very hilly, there's lots of angles that you can put your tank at to protect yourself. Uh, obviously tanks like the E100 have got really good skirts that absorb armour on the sides and on the front corners as long as you don't angle it too much if you angle it too much into the side the shell will go through the corner do no damage to the actual corner but it will actually hit something else on the inside of the tank that has a hitbox and that is where you get the damage done the skirt the corners themselves actually have no damage markers so as you'll see here always keep an angle to places that people uh, enemy tanks will come out and take a blind shot at you like that bat chat did uh, I did see the shell fire before I saw the tank, um, but because I was already angled in case something like that happened, I was going to be mostly protected. So I've got two nice little corners on the front, two nice two little holes in the front corners of my tanks. Um, I will do this video in 1080p because I do have a bit of fun with the chat and the enemy team on here, uh, the T29 and the Luva, as you'll see a little bit later on. So I'll do full 1080p for you guys just this time so that you can actually watch the chats and have a bit of a laugh. So obviously take into account if you're on a hill, especially with the E100, depending on the angle that it slopes down on, the turret actually has a slope on the front of it that goes back as well. So you don't want to angle too far down unless you don't want to hold down too much and hide too much of your log glasses because what will happen is that you'll actually get you'll put a, a uh, effective armor nerf onto your turret armor already so that it will be a lot easier for their guns to penetrate you. Um, the reason why I swing my gun around rather than use control and view is because I have personally found that you get an actual increased chance of spotting tanks when you use your when you swing the turret round rather than use control just to see what's there on the blind side. That is more based on any other tanks that might be spotting for you. Um, with that louver, I was didn't need to armor angle my armor against him at all, purely because I saw that he was aiming towards my turret. Obviously, he missed the turret and actually got the tip, got the upper glacis, which you can't penetrate really at that angle. As I said, so armor, armor angling is key. That attempt that I made at angling just before was my second big mistake that I made in this match. So this is a crucial point in the game where you've got two tanks up against your one. Who do you focus on? You always uh, focus against the one with the bigger tank. Don't try and take both of them on unless you are confident. Obviously the Luva and the E75, they're both they were both fairly competent drivers. 
down, but that Luva I put more less priority on protecting against him than the E75 because the E75 had the 128mm. Um, the damage output is about 340 on, on average per shot for the Luva, whereas the E75's 128mm can easily get up to 600 damage on me. So I'm going to go for the tank that has the smaller gun and does less damage. Um, let that do the shots first. There are more advanced ways of protecting against both, but for me, I would like to just let I like to just take one on at a time, make sure absolutely certain that they're not going to penetrate me, which is what I did. With that IS-4, I was concerned at first because I didn't see what gun he had until after he went back behind the thing and then I realised it wasn't an S7 gun that he had, it was a BL-9, so I was able to play it a bit more safe and sneak up behind him. But as you saw, going around the rock, I always use my camera to uh, see where their gun is pointing. Very, very important tip that you guys should get into the habit of practising, have a look at what I've done here. Um, at this point of the match, I knew that it was time to head back to base because we were going to lose this match if uh, I didn't get back in time. But I can't let the tiger get its shot in on me, so I have to take care of that as quickly as possible, which is where I come into ramming and using my gun. Both of them are a very good combination. Um, but now it's too late, as, as you'll see in a second. They've gotten to the base already. Just look, always keep an eye on the minimap. That's why my minimap is so large, is so that they are there in my face. So yes, as you can see, they're capturing. Um, it's quite likely that I won't make it back in time, but I've got to do what I can. So basically, yes. In summary, I'm going to have to do more videos on this. Um, but keep in mind that angling your armour, you've got to take into account it's three dimensions so hull down B, but don't hull down too much in the E100 because you're going to get a negative nerf on your thing put a corner forward but don't put yourself at too little or too sharp of an angle to the to the, where the enemy's gun is pointing because what may happen is the shot will go through the corner and it may hit another part inside the tank um, bit of a shame I was hoping to get steel wool that match but that T95 is an asshole. So have a look at how much money I made and comment, rate, subscribe and more parts should be up in the next couple of days. Thank you guys for watching.